guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Wake Up Wednesday. Before we get into it, of course, I do want to address my heart. As you can tell, I've got some faux locks. It's actually quite stiff at the moment because I literally got them done yesterday. But after a little while, they get really soft and they start to look, they actually look nicer um, the older they get. So I'm excited for them to start kind of looking a little bit rough and really, really nice. Um, but yeah, massive shout out to Wendy, AKA Faux Locks London, who hooks me up with this hair. Listen, yeah. Yeah, she did such a great job. I basically got um, just normal faux locks, no particular style, because um, there's different types of faux locks that you can get. You can get like bohemian style, all these different things. I just got regular ones, color 1B, and a mixture of color 1B and 1, which is basically like black, dark brown, um, waist length. So some of them are quite long. So I've got them, yeah, waist length, and with some of these, like, I really love this. I've got one here, and I've got one at the back. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but. I love this hair. It just makes me feel so gorgeous, so sexy, so beautiful. I love it. So yeah, make sure you check her out. I'm gonna leave all her information in the description box below. Check her out. Her Instagram is Fall Locks London. And yeah, man, just hit her up. Let her know that I sent you so that she knows, okay, that I sent you to her. And go and get your hair slayed. I've been wanting Fall Locks for the longest time. And um, she just popped up and I finally got myself some Fall Locks done and I love it. And it's perfect timing as well because I am going away. And so I don't wanna be faffing around with a wig and all that kind of stuff. I just wanna wake up in the morning, lay my edges a little bit and then keep it moving. I love it, man. I love it. Hope you like it too. Thumbs up and let me know if you like the hair in the description box. Anyway, we are not here to talk about my hair. No, another Wake Up Wednesday for you guys to get you guys moving, to wake you guys up from whatever slumber you are in. And it's very, very simple. As you can tell by the title of this video, stop begging, start acting. I actually think it's a big problem that a lot of us have, okay? We don't like to admit it, but a lot of us have this issue where maybe we're trying to search for opportunities or maybe we're trying to move onto the next level or maybe we're trying to I don't know do something and instead of us just acting upon you know the things that we know we have a desire to do or just acting upon you know and um, the dreams and the ideas and the visions that we have we are begging people to give us opportunities or begging people to give us platforms or begging people um, you know to give us options where a lot of the time now this is not all the time but a lot of the time we have the tools and the things that we need in our own hands we already have it but we just don't realize that we have it so we're out there begging people for things and it just doesn't make any sense if you're somebody who has a dream a vision something that they're really really passionate about that they know they want to do what are you waiting for why are you sitting there waiting for other people to give this opportunity to you when you should be using the resources though it might be big it might be very very little but using what you have the tools that you already have in your hands and going out there and making it happen stop begging start acting we are in 2018 we're in a time where we have so many more resources than any other generation has ever had in their entire but probably the entire existence of this planet we have so many resources we have social media we have the internet we have you know um being able to connect with other people we have all these brands and businesses that are offering to do things for us for much cheaper than they probably were 10 20 30 years ago we have so many resources so many tools so why are we not using them why are we sitting there begging people for opportunities when we should be creating them ourselves now one thing I do want to make very clear in this video is that I'm not saying you know don't go out there and collaborate with people or go out there and work with people or go out there and ask for opportunities and put yourself forward for opportunities I'm not saying that but all I'm saying is why are you sitting there literally at the feet of certain people begging them to give you uh, maybe it's a platform begging them to give you a platform when you actually have the resources yourself it might not necessarily be exactly what they have but I'm so sure that you can find a way to make things happen to reach the audience that you want to reach all in all I don't really know how I even like in my head I know what I'm trying to say I don't really know if this is coming out correctly but all in all I kind of see it as we are living in a time where you can make things happen on your own like you don't have to wait for the big corporations and the big you know people up there to give you an opportunity you can go and you can start your own projects round up some people around you use what you have whether it be a mobile phone guys please understand that these things mobile phones are one of the most amazing things on this planet we can 
can literally do so much with this but oftentimes we use it instead to stalk other people on Instagram to chat rubbish to people on Facebook or on on snapchat or whatever and to just follow a whole bunch of negativity and a whole bunch of nonsense instead of us utilizing this to actually make things happen instead of utilizing this you're out there going and begging people for opportunities that you could have already created if you had gotten started if you decided to use your brain if you decided to say do you know what I am actually intelligent enough do you know what I have an idea for something you might not want it you might not want to help me to make it happen but do you know what I'm gonna find people that do believe in me that do believe in my vision and I'm gonna make this happen and oftentimes what you'll find is that the same people that you went to looking for opportunities begging for opportunities will be coming to you begging you to come onto whatever platforms they have or come to work with them or collaborate with them in some way because they saw that you took the initiative to start something on your own stop begging start doing you don't even understand that the, the moment that you already have a brain a brain that functions and a brain that can come up with so many ideas and visions and all that kind of stuff you don't even realize that the only limitation is you i'm sure you've heard the quote or you've read the quote somewhere the only limit is you you're the only person standing in your own way you have the resources you have the tools you have the people around you you have the mentors you have everything you could look for or that you could ask for around you but you're just not utilizing it guys i'm not even going to talk too much in this video i'm just going to say it so so simply for you okay stop begging start acting i realized that i changed it to start doing midway through the video but i know that it's stop begging start acting stop begging for opportunities stop begging for things that you have desired for so long stop begging for open doors i'm sure there's a saying somewhere that says something like if you can't get in or they won't let you into the house build your own house or build the door or whatever it is okay i always get all of these quotes mixed up in my head but you know what I'm talking about build your own door build your own house build your own kingdom stop waiting for other people to bring you certain opportunities or to open up doors to you stop waiting for other people or not even just waiting but begging other people for opportunities when you could take initiative and start acting on your own doing what you need to do in order for you to progress and who knows along the way someone might open up a door for you and say oh hey do you know that opportunity that you were looking for listen we're presenting you with another one or present you with an even better one but don't stay in the same place hoping and begging day and night that something would change when you're not willing to do anything different you know the saying faith without works is dead when you're there just begging you're just hoping and having faith right you have the faith that that person will eventually give you what you want but where is the work where is the evidence to show that you are putting in the necessary work to progress stop begging start acting you might think that you don't have the tools you might think you have absolutely nothing but i promise you if you took a moment just to breathe and to look very very closely at what you do have at the things around you i am so sure you would be able to see the value in what you have in your hands and then once you see the value you have to take action stop begging guys stop begging for things that you could be doing on your own stop begging for things that you could be doing with the people around you or your friends or your family stop begging guys just start acting well i really do hope that you enjoyed this video i try to keep it very very short sweet concise just for you guys but again don't forget to like subscribe and share you guys know i love you guys always and i'm sure i will see you guys again very very soon in another video enjoy the rest of your week guys and um yeah i'll see you guys again soon stay beautiful